Good morning, welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio today. Uh, been a busy time for us at the moment, the last few weeks, uh, with production, beginning of the year, with trees turning up to work on. In the last week or two, we've had about 6,000 young trees turn up, young seedlings, nursery stock material. And these get trimmed and shaped and styled into bonsai, or we sell them as like part trained trees for people. And one of the selections of trees we've had in during that time is some blue uh, Atlas cedar. Some of you know me, you know that I'm quite keen on cedars. It's one of my uh, particular favorite trees for bonsai. And recently we've had this one come into stock. Uh, it's a uh, blue Atlas cedar and it had been started off by the owner in 1974. So it's got some age to it, really nice tree, it's one that's going to go into our private collection and have it here at Greenwood when we do exhibitions. Uh, so obviously a tree like this of some age, they've got to start somewhere. We get a lot of people asking us about cedars and blue cedars in particular because they're not really that common to find in the UK at garden centres and nurseries. If you do find them, they're normally quite tall without many low branches. Some of you will have seen a few years ago, I worked on this one over here. And this one again is about a 40 to 45 year old tree. And this has been grafted at the base. And on this particular one, it's caused a swelling at the base, which although some people would say is unsightly, it's the character of this tree. And I don't think it distracts too much from it uh, when you're actually looking at the tree like that. But these trees all start somewhere and this is where they start just nursery stock uh, cedars. Let me just have a lift one up here for you to show you. So I bought these in uh, from a nursery in Holland. About 40 of them have come in and I've, been, I've worked on a few and I thought I'd save a few to show you what we do to them uh, over here uh, to, to take these on to the next stage to style them as bonsai. So first thing we need to do is we can get rid of this cane. They've obviously been staked up to stop them sort of falling over to make a taller garden tree. Uh, got a bit of space in here, just take that out. And then let's have a look at the actual tree and evaluate it as a bonsai. Now, these, are quite a, these aren't a bad batch of trees. I didn't see them before I bought them. I just took a little bit of a, a gamble on purchasing them. But often at garden centres, if you get these and they're taller, they've got no low branches in this sort of section. Luckily with these, they have got some low branches, but obviously we don't need this sort of height. So first thing with these is just to take them out the, the hessian or the burlap. So these have come out the ground, they've been field grown. They've come out the ground just recently and just been wrapped up like that. And if you can see, the soil quite loose on it so this is a standard sort of just regular soil out of Holland in sort of Boscoop area where these trees are grown it's a really good loamy soil things grow really well in it so here let's just have a little look at the base of the tree see we've got some circling roots this one's coming out from from over over on this side here so not doing a lot of root work, but some of these roots that are all a bit of a tangle just want, want tidying up and cutting off. Just so we can expose a bit of the base of the trunk. So these are all grafted trees and that, that does mean that they can vary quite a bit. Sometimes the grafts are quite neat and sometimes they're not. It's been grafted at this point here where this swelling is. This branch here has died off. These want a bit of a trim. Let's just have a little look at the top of the tree. And these are all different. So this particular one, it's actually got, it's actually got a split just here, look. We've got decent branches here. We've got one here that's quite vertical coming up. So the option with this tree, yeah, well one option would be just take the top down into here like that and grow it grow it on like this but with this one we've got the other option of perhaps taking it down here so getting rid of that lumpy section there and coming up this to create more taper 
and I think with this one because it has that and that's usable I think that's what we're going to do so concave pruner if we can see what we're doing it's a little bit busy in there try it from this side in there and get rid of that heavy section and then take this down a little bit more like so so then the rest of this tree just wants a little bit of a tidy up so here is a little stub from where it was grafted just here that can tidy up and then some of these little shoots that are just starting out where the branches originate from I'm just going to tidy them up just some of these you can just pinch out with your fingertips others we can trim out just to get a bit more definition around the start of the branches just again look these that are growing down a bit too much you can just pull these out with your fingertips this sort of growth in here just on the underside of these branches just so you can see a bit clearer this one here that one there growing down wants to come out this one this one let's taper these branches in towards the top of the tree give it a prune back I mean this is just a formative stage of potentially developing this in future and using it for bonsai trimming that top section back like that a little bit off these tips just here these little shoots growing down just here and just in there some old needles just there where we took that section out so this might make a nice a nice front of this tree in future I think if it did you're not going to need that shoot coming straight forward and you're not going to need this branch here so we can make a couple of styling decisions with that a couple of bits growing down in here we don't need and this little section just here now I can see to get in there let's take this lump here a little bit further back like so and then tidy up that edge again and we'll put some wound sealant on that little bit on here on this section and from what we had before to what we've got now just in a few minutes we've maybe got the makings of a, a future tree let's get it potted up now and show you the difference so when we pot it up first thing we need to comb out a little bit more of the roots we're going into a fairly deep pot I'm going to put these into training pots but a little bit of these roots can just be teased out and then we'll just take a little bit off the bottom of these just to neaten them up like so that should be that should be enough and we'll get a pot see if we can't get it potted up so root work like that just lay it down we'll get a pot we'll show you how to do it okay so just get this tree potted up for you show you what we're doing so a bit of a uh, bit of two and a half mil wire just up through the drainage holes in the bottom of the pot something like this like that and we'll just put this into our basic bonsai mixture about 40 percent grit quite free draining it'll probably go into a like an akadama and kiryu mixture when it's next done but for now it'll be okay in this i'll just plant it a bit of a, a bit of an angle like that not too not too deep not too high up front towards me i'll spin it around a bit and show you so add plenty of compost firm it in and then once it's firmed in we can wire the tree in it'll only need this one wire to hold it in like 
that a bit more. Once it's wired in, won't move around so much. Just bring that wire just over the back of the tree, over the top of the root ball. Just bring this one up to meet it. Hold the tree in position, grab those two wires, pull with your pliers, and then just twist to take up the slack. And again, and again. Once you get that nice and tight like that, just trim off any excess wire, like so. Push that loose end down into the soil. So now we've got, with that tree, started like this. Only sort of 10, 15 minute process with these, makes all the difference from a little nursery stock tree like that. And you can see it's just got the makings now of a, of a future bonsai. It's in a good training pot, plenty of space for it to grow. We've sort of, we've not done too much styling on it. We've just sort of mapped it out. So the next owner will probably buy it like this in a year's time, in a few months time, when we put these out for sale. While we've got this one here, let's just have a little, have a little look at this one. If you've seen some of my videos before on this sort of thing, you'll know that I tend to often get a tree out, work on it, get a bit carried away, end up doing another one. Let's have a little bit of a look. It's quite exciting doing this sort of work because they're all different. You don't know what they're gonna turn out like. Say we've got a batch of these trees and I've done quite a few of them. And I saved a few back because I thought it'd be an interesting thing for you to, to view. We're working on all sorts of trees here at Greenwood. Once I finish these, I've got a sort of specimen pine tree that's in from a customer that wants a full wiring and style. And like I say, I spent the last few weeks trimming very young seedling trees, getting them out on the bench for beginners. We've also got a fairly busy teaching schedule at this time of year as well. So just trying to fit everything in and also do some videos for you. Now it's been a while since we've done them and that's, uh, that's why. But we're still here working and being busy even if we're not filming it. I'll try and get some more done for you in the next few weeks. Interesting things that are coming and going to work on and film. So this one, look, little stub there, little branch there, he's not very good. This little wimpy one here and here. That's the stub from the graft. And here. So this one, the graft is a bit more bulbous on it than that last one we did here. But it's not so bad from this side. From around here, it's worse. This section here, where we just took off that stub, I'm actually going to take that back a little bit more and we'll put some wound sealant on that. So that's got rid of some of that, some of that lump, and some of that overhang that we don't really want. At the graft union, let's have a look at the actual tree. Now, a few little stubby bits there we don't need. And again, like we did with that other one, we've got a branch coming out here, just taking off a few of these needles where the branch forms, a few little things going down a bit too much. Same on this branch, just to neaten it up really more than anything. A little bit off here. This one, not quite well branched in this center section here. And this is a bit like that other one, the same, same sort of thing. We've got a potential, another leader here look. Uh, this one breaks here so i think we'll do same sort of thing with this we'll come back down to about where my hand is here this section it's always good to get taper on a tree like this if we take that section there off the top try and tidy this up a little bit more like so and then this that's quite a developed branch but probably a bit too large so we'll shorten that back just like that 
trim this top down a little bit. Taper these in. So already we're tapering these into the top of the tree to make it a better, a better shape. This branch here is a bit too long. This growth here coming back in towards the tree, we can shorten back a little bit. So without going too, too mad at it, we've just sort of mapped it out for the future. Again, tidy up that stub, take it back a little bit closer, look. We'll put some wound sealant on that. Let's have a little look at it. A little bit off here and here. And this section here, growing back in. Reduce that a little bit into here. And then in future, we've got another tree there that's on its way. We'll get that one potted up as well. And uh, to go from that, from these, we've got another couple left here to do. Well, I won't bother filming all of them for you. But this is a sort of thing. Those two were quite well branched. Yeah, this one's perhaps a bit, a bit uh, less interesting. You see where they're caned up like this? It's just, they're just crushing all these branches down this side. Not really very good, is it? So we'll get that cane out of the way. You see where these branches have been crushed against the cane? They will likely lift in future. And something like this, if it hasn't got a leader like those others, we're just going to end up taking the top off about here. And then we'll shorten these back to this sort of shape. Just like we've done with the others. And there's another one, look. Ready for a little bit of tidying up and potting. So, you know, these trees, the nice size, you know, the graft's a bit variable on them, but they will be because they've been grown for, for nursery stock and not for bonsai, but we, we can make the best of them. They're very bright tree, nice to have in a collection. They're just hard to get. You know, some of you, you're watching from other countries, you might be, might be easy to get hold of this material, but over here, you, you see them, but you don't see ones that are very suitable. So, you know, this is quite a nice, uh, quite a nice batch of trees. Good size tree for people to add to the collection to build on chunky, heavy, you know, chunky trunk nursery stock with a few branches. A couple of these trees here, we'll keep these here at the nursery. We'll grow them on and we'll perhaps revisit them as a video uh, late summer in autumn and show you how they've progressed. And at that time, we might do a little bit of wiring on some of the branches and, uh, and show, you, uh, show you the involvement of the tree. There's always a process with these that's gonna be sort of four or five years in the making to make this uh, well branched and get it to be a nice tree. And then, you know, fast forward from that, another 35 years to something like this mature uh, specimen that we showed you to start the video off with. I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. Please give us a subscribe and a like, and thank you very much. Take care.